helping find solutions to improve our state. They are doing great training the next generation. I'm disappointed that we are not funding the UMOR, that we're not funding our future. I also have Augsburg University in my district. I have a lot of college students in my district. A lot of them are able to go to school because of the state grant and the state grant program. So I am thankful for the increase in the state grant program in our bill, in this bill, but I wish we could have done more. It truly makes an impact, the ability to go to college and to have that money is making the difference of them going to college or not. And we all know that you're gonna need some post-secondary education to make it in this, in this world going forward. To provide you economic security, you need that post-secondary education. Doesn't matter if it's the U, we have great technical schools, we have great community colleges, and we have the Minnesota State System. We need to fund that, that is our future. I appreciate the changes to the state grant program in the bill. It tweaks it a little bit so that more, more people will qualify. I also appreciate the additional funding for College Possible and for the fostering independent grant to help kids exiting the foster system. This will give them access to post-secondary education. Education is an investment that keeps on giving. These programs and our state universities and college are an investment that gives economic security to our state. It provides an educated workforce so that we can continue to grow our economy. The state grant program, College Possible, and the fostering independent grants invest in people so that they can get a great job and have economic security. Everybody wants economic security. Everybody wants to feel safe and secure. When we take our oath of office, we swear to support and uphold the Constitution of Minnesota to the best of our judgment and ability. Article one of the, Consti Article one of the Constitution is the Bill of Rights. That first section is the object of government. Government is instituted for the security, benefit, and protection of the people. The next section is rights and privilege. It says no member of this state shall be disenfranchised or deprived of any rights. Members, we have many people in our state right now that do not feel the state is protecting them. They do not feel safe and secure. We have whole communities that feel disenfranchised. We need to step up and help them. The eyes of the world are on us again. This has to stop. Session ends in one month. We have the time to get things done. Higher education helps people gain economic security. There are good things in this bill that will help people gain economic security, but I think it also is a missed opportunity and it, the bill could have been better. We have an opportunity to do better right now. We have an opportunity to give everybody economic security, to get everybody feel safe. This is the time to act. We do not want to miss this opportunity. Again, the eyes of the world are on us. I urge this body to hold hearings and pass criminal justice, law enforcement accountability reform so that everybody across our state feels safe. Senators, it is our duty to act. Again, I beg you, please, let us hold these hearings so that everybody across our state has economic security and feels safe.